शिष्यानंदमयी मात की जय क्वेश्चन मां इट इज सेड दैट व्हाट वन ईट्स अफेक्ट्स द माइंड इज दिस ट्रू व्हाट इज द कनेक्शन बिटवीन द माइंड एंड फूड मां देयर इज इंडीड अ क्लोज इंटर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द माइंड एंड फूड Shastras give elaborate instructions on this theme. Satvic food will produce satvic qualities. Rajasic food rajasic qualities and so on. Therefore people observe special rules concerning their diet. But if someone engages in sadhana he will automatically feel the necessity of giving up certain types of food and of introducing others he will come to experience an aversion for the eatables that hinder his sadhana just as a fever patient craves for water so will the sadhaka instinctively conceive a desire for a particular articles of diet and a distaste for others but also by reasoning one may adopt a satvic diet and later gradually develop a taste for it question ma we see that people cannot live without food yet we are told that during your life there were times when you ate infinitesimal quantities as for instance 3 grains of rice twice daily or as much as can be given in one breath etc ma once i had to travel by carriage it was overcrowded so i sat on a woman's lap the khayal came to this body that it would be too heavy for her so this body became lighter than a leaf when afterwards it got out of the carriage this body sat down on the ground again assuming its normal weight that was a yogic process this is one thing another is as follows when a kite flies in the air it gets into a state of poise so that the wooden frame to which it is attached is also held in the air in balance although at other times it would fall down similarly there is a state of poise in which the rhythm of the breath is such that 6 months may become equal to 6 hours at the time when this body lived on such a scanty diet its health was excellent it could walk for hours and climb without getting breathless when walking up a steep hill people usually pant but at that time this body did not feel any fatigue or exertion if there had been the khayal it could have remained in that condition for years or for a whole age but this also is only a state namely the state of a yogi since this body does nothing by personal will but everything happens spontaneously it now behaves like other human beings it gets a stomach ache a pain in the foot and so on it is all the same another point is this the energy of the grain or fruit is absorbed into oneself by eating them but if this energy is within one's reach in a more direct way no food is required where the power to create preserve and destroy is present what is it not to eat nothing at all shri shri anandamayi mat ki jai